Hello, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm the Zodiac Guru, an astrologer, and a psychic tarot reader. And I would love to do a reading for you. Purchase your reading from me on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. That is L-A-M-A-R-R-T-O-W-N-S-E-N-D, tarot.com. If you're a Gemini, you're probably bored already. This video is about Geminis and how Gemini men and Gemini women flirt. So are you into astrology? Oh my God, what is your zodiac sign? Mine is Gemini, but you know, my moon is in Cancer. So let me tell you about my day. Oh my God, my day was so crazy. I had the worst day ever, but I'm so glad to be here with you because you're so awesome. So tell me a little bit more about you. Do you have siblings? How old are they? Are they, you know, are they are they boys? Are they girls? Are you the oldest? Gemini wants to know everything about you and wants you to know everything about them when they are interested in you, all right? Um, this is their way of flirting, and sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming for people. Like, you know, so much, like, it's like information over overload or sensory overload sometimes with Geminis when it comes to their flirting. But they just get so excited, and I think it's actually really cute to see them in this, in this um, state. Because they're kind of like child, you know, um, children. So, you know, it's that Mercury energy. This is one way that a Gemini flirts is simply through communication, asking questions, you know, having a conversation and really enjoying that conversation and, you know, maybe intermingling some flirting, you know, in between the conversation, you know, um, that's like how a Gemini, you know, is, is most comfortable with flirting is actually having a genuine, you know, face to face or at least back and forth conversation with someone where they can get feedback, they can get that kind of reciprocation and energy and, you know, communication as well to actually get a feel of what their, you know, person they're talking with or dealing with feels about them, you know, like, Gemini's really, really value and appreciate that reci reciprocity or reciprocity, whatever, however you say that word. Listen, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Interestingly enough, in a weird way, Gemini's also flirt by letting you in on secrets. Now, honey, these could be their secrets. These could be other people's secrets. Or, these could even be your secrets that you end up revealing to Gemini. Because Geminis just have a way where they make you feel really, really comfortable with them. And really, really comfortable with, you know, divulging, you know, certain secrets about yourself to them. Um, typically because they're open books themselves. So, if a Gemini does expose parts of themselves to you, that is kind of their way of flirting, actually. Because Gemini see exposing um, of themselves and others around them as a way of letting you into their world and into their true identity and true self. And to Gemini's, that's one of the most important things in a relationship or, you know, when it comes to flirting is I want you to like me for the true me. And this is the true me, you know, messy, beautiful and all. Geminis also kind of like to show off their intellect a bit. They like to show what they know. They like to, you know, let you know all that they know. You know, they like to show off their intellect a bit. I mean, this is Mercury, for goodness sakes. You know, the one of the most intellectual planets in the Zodiac or in the astrology, I guess. But, you know, um, so this is kind of their way of flirting as well. It's kind of showing off their intellect, showing off what they know. They can be a little show-offs, you know, when it comes to their knowledge and their expertise in certain areas and things like that. So that is one thing I noticed about Gemini's is, you know, they do like to show off a bit when it comes to the intellect. All right. It is what it is. I can't hate on them. If you got it, flaunt it. If a Gemini brings you around their close loved ones or their close friends, that's kind of their way of flirting with you too. Any sign of a Gemini bringing you into their world, their true essence, who they are behind you know, the surface level stuff like that is a Gemini kind of flirting with you, letting them know, letting you know that, hey, I kind of like you. You know, I like you enough at least to let you a little bit into my my world. Right. I've also noticed that Gemini's kind of have a way where they'll say someone's hot in front of you. But them saying that someone's hot in front of you is also validating your hotness in a way as well, because otherwise, a Gemini wouldn't talk about someone that was hot in front of someone that wasn't actually hot themselves as well. 
It's kind of backwards thinking, but I think a Gemini would understand what I'm talking about. But if a Gemini is dealing with someone who's interested in, in them, then this will create a little bit of jealousy, um, which, you know, Geminis kind of know what they're doing with this too. So, you know, it's kind of a part of a Gemini's plan sometimes with this jealousy thing. When it comes to, you know, talking about people that they find hot or attractive or things like that, that's a Gemini's way of flirting, but also trying to start, you know, start some mess and stir the pot, all right? You have to remember, Geminis are little drama starters, okay? They're little, you know, they're little, um, you know, they're little fire starters. You know the, the, the phrase, where there's smoke, there's fire? Nine times out of ten, the person that started that fire was a Gemini. Catch that tea. But it's all in love. Most of the time, Geminis don't mean any harm. Because the Gemini totally understands that everybody's got their own dirt and everybody's got their own secrets. Geminis are smart, so they're always thinking ahead and always seeking to get a reaction out of you. So Geminis will use body language as a way of flirting, meaning that they'll bend over and, you know, pick up a drop a pencil, pretend to, pretend to drop a pencil. They'll bend over and they'll, you know, pick a pencil up, you know, something like that in front of you just so you can see their booty or they'll like bend over so you see their breasts or they lift their shirt up so you can see their abs. You know, they're just those kind of people, but they do it in such a way where it's natural and it doesn't come off as like force, like maybe a Leo. Yeah, I'm just moving. I'm just walking. Can you, can you see my butt? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, hold on. I'm just doing something over here. I'm just. Can you see my butt though? Okay, let me just fix this really quickly. Oh my God, I dropped something. Can you see my butt though? But the thing I love the most about Geminis is that it's all fun and play with them. Like they love to have fun. They're really fun flirters. You know, they're really playful flirters. You know, they like to giggle and laugh and you know, play, you know, tickle me Elmo with each other. Okay, maybe all Geminis aren't like that, but they are fun and playful when it comes to their flirting. They, you know, they like to crack jokes and, you know, they like to, they like to laugh. You know, it's not all so serious with Geminis. That's one thing I appreciate about them. But I think the biggest thing I appreciate about Geminis is that they're dynamic flirters. So they don't just have one move or one technique under their arsenal. Like I said, Geminis, you know, can flirt through communication, you know, in many forms, body language, you know, um, just sheer, you know, facial expressions and things like that. You know, they are so powerful when it comes to their communication. I don't think they get enough credit, actually, when it comes to that. So I would venture to say that Geminis are some of the best flirters in the Zodiac. I mean, there's a reason why they're ruled literally by the lover's card in the tarot. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Let me know how you feel about Geminis and their flirting abilities and their flirting techniques. What are your thoughts on how Gemini women and Gemini men flirt? Let me know in the comments below whether you're a Gemini or not. And also, I'd like to hear your perspectives on whether you're like your Venus and Gemini, a moon and Gemini, a Gemini rising. Like, I would just love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know. Also, if you would like your own personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me or an astrology birth chart reading from me, I am available. Like I said, I do astrology birth chart readings and psychic tarot readings, so I would love to read for you. Of course, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are not already subscribed, hit that bell next to that subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a brand new video like this video right, right here. And if you really like the video, share it on your social media pages or share with your friends and family in an email or something, all right? I had so much fun talking about Geminis, all right? Um, let me know what you guys think, and I look forward to hearing from you. Make sure to also connect with me on my social media pages on Instagram. My handle is at Lamar, L-A-M-A-R-R, Townsend, just spelled like my YouTube name. And on my Facebook page, it's Lamar Townsend Tarot, also just spelled like my YouTube name. Except on Instagram, Tarot, it's just at Lamar Townsend, no Tarot, all right? 
Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Yeah. Yeah.